Hey, Oliochia. How are you? I could not hear you. Siva Wurida. Oliochia. How are you? Hey, Jandy. Hey, Nanga Jandy. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome. Mwane Lizitua. Mwane Zidua Mchpachino. Many people in the UK. Bantu Manji, Mubongereza. Are listening. Bawuriza. Tonight. Echiro Chalero. They are hearing every word. Bawuriza Burichigambo. And they are here watching this conference. Nanga and Duan on Dabba and Tunura Chirim Lukunga Naruno. Hallelujah. Nava Muebari. Amen. Hey. I came here last year. Nejama no Omako Goede. Last year. Mwako Goede. Two years were celebrated in one night. Miyake Vira Kujaku Sechirachimu. Tonight, two years are celebrated. Orwane no Katinjaku Semiake Vira Chirachino. Hallelujah. Amina. Last year. Mwako Goede. At midnight. Kusawa Mukaga Zechiro. I have never seen such a celebration and party. That happened here last year. But tonight, tonight, I believe we will go to a higher level. A higher level. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I came into the country a few days ago. And many people in the UK do not know where Uganda is in Africa. But I tell you, one day they will know where Uganda is. Uganda You see in the UK, in the UK, if you mention the word Uganda, they have one picture. And this picture is Idi Amin. Oh. Idi Amin. Idi Amin, Dada. This is what they think in the UK. This is what they think in America. Nemo America, Chevaroza. Idi Amen. Idi Amen. Now, now ye, do you want Idi Amen? Idi Amen, Mujamuagala. To be the picture for this country. Oh, Kubanga, Chachifana, Chiramuakere, Shogaku, Uganda. No. Ah, ah, Chichidiri. No. Neda. God has got a bigger plan for Uganda. God has got a bigger legacy for Uganda. God has got a bigger legacy for Uganda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, a few days ago, I was invited to a press conference with Bishop Shikanda. And one or two other preachers. The press were there. The TV cameras were there. And they were asking questions to try and trap Bishop Kakanda and also to trap me. You see, they were asking. About the anti homosexual law. Because across the world, people are now looking at Uganda. Because Uganda, Uganda, Uganda is the first country to stand up for God. To stand up for God. You see, there are many nations in this world. America. America. They are a big, powerful nation. And President Obama. He is pointing his finger at Uganda. And he says, Uganda. 
should not persecute homosexuals. Hey. You see, when you point your finger, one finger is pointing at the other person. But three fingers are pointing back at you. President Obama should put his own house in order. I tell you in the UK we have heard that this government in Uganda is a democracy. The politicians were elected here. They had the freedom here to write their own laws. And four years ago this bill came into fruition and I tell you now there are many people in the UK saying welcome Uganda and I'm here to tell you tonight that you are making a stand for God there is no other nation doing this. No, no other nation. The secular countries. They are trying to point the finger at Uganda. But I tell you, God is happy with Uganda. Hallelujah. Amen. God is gonna bless Uganda. Two thousand and twelve will be a year of blessing. To Uganda. Uganda. A year of blessing to Uganda. Bidi kuminesa to mwaka gwa mukseri Uganda. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me tell you. Kanku budi. We understand there are many problems in Uganda. Tuchi mani ebi zomoni na ntoke Uganda. We understand there is corruption. Obudia ke buko de jembe wan. Some injustice. Wadu wabu talibu in Kenya. There is tribalism. Muso sola gana muma wanga. But let me tell you now. Uganda, Uganda has not got a patent or copyright on corruption. Uganda has not got a copyright or a patent on corruption. Uganda tena kuagenda kopa tena kuagenda kufana njia za kuviabuli yake na budi bwangozi. You see, in many countries across the world, corruption is right. Wherever there is power, you will find corruption. And many Ugandans now are pointing fingers at each other. Tribes are pointing fingers at each other. Government parties are pointing fingers at each other. The press and the media. But Nama would appointing fingers. Nabobas Basalangana Misango at the government. Basalangana Misango. But let me tell you now. Who government Nekan Kobodide? Condemnation. Oh Kunenya. Who signs nothing? Tekuna Shakugenda Kujawo. Condemnation. Oh Kunenya. Does not bring change. Tekugenda Kuleta won Chuka Chuka. But I will tell you now. Nekan Kobodide. Condemnation will not change Uganda. But what will change Uganda? It's conviction. 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 Conviction is what brings change. Hallelujah. This is the key. Let me tell you now. 
Let me explain what the Bible says. Because my time is short. I will tell you the scripture. John 8. Verse 3 to 11. This is the story. About the woman caught in adultery. This is a very, very well known story in the Bible. But in the interest of time, let me paraphrase the story. Because you will find the key for 2013 in Uganda. And I will tell you this now. Because yes, is the answer. Yes, so is the answer. Yes, He is the answer to every single need. Yes, He is the answer to your need. He is the answer to the needs in Uganda. And I tell you, yes, so. Yes, will show you the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, in this story, just like the press were trying to. Trap us. To, to say the wrong thing. The Pharisees. The Sadducees. And the teachers of the law. They were trying to trap Jesus. They had a plan to trap him. And this was their plan. They captured a woman caught in adultery. And then took his woman half naked. And they marched her to so the synagogue or near the synagogue where Yesu was. There was a very big crowd. A big mass of people there. They threw this woman down onto the ground before Yesu. And they said, Yesu, uh, this woman has uh, been caught in adultery. Uh, now, the law of Israel, the law of Israel says this woman should be stoned to death. What do you say, Yesu? Now, they believed Yesu. Only had two choices. You see, if Yesu condemned this woman, if Yesu said, Yes, I stone this woman, then he would have broken the Roman law. And the Romans would have killed Yesu. Because the Roman law says you cannot kill another person. So if Jesus said stone the woman Jesus would have been certain to die. But if Yesu did the other option and he said no leave this poor woman alone she has made a bad mistake. Let her go. Ah, then the religious would have said, Jesu, yes, you have broken the law of Moses. Because according to the law of Moses, this woman must be stoned to death. Yeah. Ah. You see, they thought there was no way out for Yesu. But they, let me tell you, they do not know our Yesu. They did not know our Yesu. Because Yesu did not ever. They said, Yesu, what do you say? Yesu said nothing. Yesu said nothing. Then suddenly, he knelt down. And he started writing in the sand. Now the Bible does not tell us what he wrote. But. He got up and still said nothing. 
And they said, Yes, who? What is your answer? And yes, who said this? Yes, Nagamba, what? Let him who's without sin throw the first stone. And suddenly, people looked at what Yeshua had written. And the eldest Pharisee, he was the one who had the first rock. But when Yesu said that he is without sin, throw the first stone. Suddenly, he was convicted. His conscience convicted him. He dropped the stone. You see, this man was a hypocrite. He's done many bad things. Conviction shines this man's heart. The second elder, he came forward and he looked at what Jesus had written. Conviction made him drop the stone. And he walked away. And then finally, the third person, he too had the stone. But when he saw the writing, he walked away. And he dropped his stone. And then, the rest of the crowd, they left. And now, there was just this woman and Yesu and Jesus Yesu said to this woman where are your accusers are there any left to condemn you hello he said is there any left to condemn you and she said no there is no one. And then Yesu said to her, yes, Then I do not condemn you either. He says, But go and sin no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you are familiar with this story, many of you. But do not miss the point of this story. You see, just like in Uganda. Uganda there are many people condemning Uganda now. In Uganda, Uganda, people are pointing the finger at each other now. But condemnation does not change people. Only conviction. Only conviction. Only conviction will change people. Only conviction will change Uganda. Uganda. Only conviction will change Uganda. Uganda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Condemning politicians will not bring change. Convicting politicians will bring change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My prayer for Uganda. My prayer for Uganda. Is the same as God's. His will for Uganda. Is something far higher. Far higher. Than where it is right now. But you see God the Father. He sees the end from the beginning. He can see Uganda's future. And the Father has a great plan for Uganda. Your legacy, your legacy will not be Idi Amin. Your legacy will be Yesu. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. When they when people talk about Yesu, they will think about Uganda. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Kati, when I spoke at a press conference, 
When they ask our opinion about Uganda, I, I answered the question. I said Uganda, Uganda has been a blessing to us in the UK. A blessing to us in the UK. A blessing to us in the UK. Hey, Uganda, now you may ask the question why? Well, in the UK, the churches have been declining. But in the last 10 years, in Uganda, in Uganda, in the UK, sorry, there has been a change. Because Ugandans Uganda, who love Yesu have been coming to us in the UK. They have been opening churches in London. They have been opening churches in the big cities in the UK. UK. And now because of the Ugandans, Uganda, the church has grown by between 10 and 15 percent. Because of Ugandans Uganda. coming to the UK. Because of Africans coming to the UK. Uganda. And planting churches. Hallelujah. Amen. So I told the press. We are thankful to Uganda. I am here. To thank you. To say Webberly. For what you've done for the UK. I tell you the world is changing. Those who are last will be first one day. Those who are last are first one day. One day, one sunny day, I see America, America with a begging bowl. With a begging bowl. You are at the moment, at this moment in time. The Ugandans but now Uganda are coming to America, and they're asking for money. They have to bow, and they say, "Please give us money," because we do not have the money here. Please give us the money, and America will say, "America, abolish the anti-homosexual bill." And then we will give you money. You understand? But I tell you, a day is coming. A day is coming. A day is coming. When America, America will come to Uganda. We're going to put you Uganda with a begging bowl. We're going to put you in Uganda. Give us money. Give, Give us money. Give us money. Because we need Uganda's help. Uganda. We are not going to take it. 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 We are not going to the next 50 years we will see big change in Uganda big change in Uganda I thank you for the money I thank you for the money and I thank you for the I feel it in my spirit I feel it in my spirit God has got a big plan for Uganda I tell you God has got a big plan for Uganda I tell you Uganda will be first Uganda again that could end better. And those countries are first now will be last. I'm a one that got a bang that got a country called again that could quit it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now not only has Uganda. Governor Uganda. Been a blessing. No more kiss up. To the country of the United Kingdom. Get no guanga and you have also been a blessing. Move at them. Okay. Sir. To me personally. Near your brand one is in gas that you know. Let me share my testimony. Ten years ago, I've never been to Uganda. I met some Ugandans. They invited me to come to this country. 
I had no money. I had no house. I had no wife. I only had enough money to come to Uganda. But since I've come to Uganda, the Lord has blessed me. The Lord has blessed me. In 2002, I had no job. I decided to start my own business. I had to start my own business. But when I started this business, I gave the business to the Lord. I gave the business to Yesu. I said, Lord, if this business makes any money, Business, then I'll use the money for the kingdom. I said, Lord, if you use the money for the kingdom, then I'll use the money for the There are people here tonight. You are looking to start a business in 2013. If you are looking to start a business in 2013, stand up now. Stand up now. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. Now. Let me tell you something. I have no money. I have no wife. I have no house. 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 I have no wife. I have no Hallelujah. Now sit down. Let me tell you how God blessed me. I came to Uganda again. I come to Uganda two times a year if I can. I started a business in UK. All I had was a bedroom. My bedroom was my office. Within 12 months, one year, my business was so successful business that a big multinational company, they came to me and said, we want to buy your business. Yeah. I did not even know how much my business was worth. So they said you need to have a lawyer. So I got a lawyer. Then I found out that my business is worth about a million pounds. Then I said, what is a million pounds? He said, well, I don't know. I've never sold a business before. Then he gave me some advice. He said, when they ask you how much money you want for the business tell them this he said tell them I am interested but I'm not interested hey. Hey. so I listened to this man and then they told me how much money they would have paid for the business. And in my heart, I said, give it to me now. Give, give it, it to me now. It was a big amount of money. A big amount of money. But I remembered. I looked, I looked at the man. And I said, I'm interested. But I'm not interested. And they said, well, what does this mean? Are you asking us for more money? And I replied. And I replied. I'm interested. But I'm not interested. They doubled the offer. Did you say it right? They doubled the offer. And they said, this time I told the lawyer I want to take this money now 
Whatever small things I've done for Uganda, Uganda has done much more for me. In 2002, I did not have a wife. I prayed to God, Lord, I need a wife. And the Lord spoke into my heart. He said, I will give you a wife. And he did give me a wife. He gave me a wife called Michelle. Michelle was my wife now. Michelle was my wife now. Michelle was my wife now. Michelle Michelle was my wife now. 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 Michelle was her womb was damaged. The doctors told her she could never have children. I was happy with that. We were happy with it because I had my wife. And if God said we could not have children, or the doctors said we could not have children, then I was happy with that. But every year, I brought my wife Michelle to Uganda. And one day, my wife was not feeling good. We went back to the UK. Her stomach was hurting. The doctors examined her. They said, We found the solution. Your wife Michelle was pregnant. Praise the Lord. We had a miracle child. His name is Pastor John. Last year, I was here preaching the gospel. My wife, she did not feel well again. We now, we now have a second child. We now have a second boy. We now have a boy called Luke. This one is called Dr. Luke. I'm preaching here again. Hey. 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 I need two more boys. I need a Matthew. I need a Mark. And because then I have a Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hallelujah. I have a Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I have a Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I have a Matthew, I've seen the power of God in Uganda. What God has done for me, He can do for you. Now, God is not a respecter of people. God is not a respecter of people. If He's blessed me, He can surely bless you. Hey, now why is that book going to Malako? 
My prayer right now is amongst the masses right now. There are some barren women. I believe there's some barren women here. I ask now if there's a barren woman. Oh man here, stand up. Hey, stand up right now. Hey, Webberly. 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 Stand up right now. Because God's going to bless you. I believe. I believe. Now you can stand up. 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 Now you can because what God's done for me, He can surely do for you. Hallelujah. He can surely do for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah. Glory some family may have invited you. You're here tonight. But you're not here by accident. There are no accidents in the kingdom of God. There's a reason why you're here tonight. And I understand that this broadcast. It's been aired on the radio. Across Uganda. I've been told. That there's nearly five million people listening to the message right now. There's someone here on the radio. You're listening to this message. 2012. It's been a year of tears. But Yesu yes, has promised to wipe away those tears. Hallelujah. He has wiped away my tears. You see, God is for you. Katonda He is for Uganda. Uganda Uganda. Through the cross of Jesus Christ. You have passed out from under the curse. Or would they? You've passed out from under the curse. Hello. Galatians 3 verse 13. says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Bible to Gamba and to Christo are to no day. Or come to call him a chamateka. I believe that God is lifting the curse which Satan Satan has tried to put over Uganda. I believe tonight through the sacrifice of Yesu on the cross you have passed out from under the curse. Christ has redeemed you. Christo, yakununula. Christ has redeemed you from sickness. Yakununula kuva mundwade. Christ has redeemed you from poverty. Christo, yakununula kuva mumuavu. Christ has redeemed you from spiritual death. Ela Christo, akununula kuva mukufa okuwa moyo. For sickness. Kuwa mundwade. He wants to give you health. Ayagala kuwa mubudamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For poverty, he wants to give you wealth. For death, he wants to give you eternal life. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The curse is broken tonight. Uganda, Uganda has pleased God. The curse will be broken tonight. Deuteronomy. Verse 8. Chapter 8 verse 18. Says an amazing scripture. An amazing 
Prophesy. And this is what it says. For you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is Him who gives you power to get wealth. Hello? Wanji. God is opening the doors tonight. He's saying, if you remember the Lord your God, He will give you power. Power. To make wealth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a big promise. But what will you do with this promise? Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6 verses 9 it says remember this. Remember this. He who soweth sparingly shall also reap sparingly. But he who sows generously shall also reap generously. So let each man give what he has decided in his heart to give. Not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver. And God Eracatonda is able to make all Christ a sober and the was a such or not abound to all sugar or Kubanga changing your memory so that you have all sufficiency no sober of Bango in every now in all things more in song I or now so you may have an abundance or an old for every good work or color with him in a moment on you could now Amina Amina you see when the Lord blesses you Katona Bakuamuksa you only get to keep you only get to keep what you give away. You see, in this life, you come into the world with nothing. You leave with nothing. Except what you've given away. Hello? Hello? You understand this? No. Uh, let me get it again. You only get to keep. Yeah, in America, mu America, they say guess all you can. Agamanti jangu. Then keep all you can. Kuma teleka chonzo kusabola. Then sit on the can. Ato ture uchosabola. But in the kingdom, ne mu bwaka bwaka. It is different. Cha cha ukana. You see, omani. The more you give, joko mo gaba. The more gives God gives back. Atem kama joko mo kudisa. The more you give, the more gives back. Last year, I came here. I was sick. And I had a terminal disease. And I had a terminal disease. I came here to preach last year. The doctors told me I had a condition in my brain. It was a neurological problem. My younger brother, Mugana and Gomuto, he also had the same problem. The problem is this there was a problem in the brain, in the wiring. My brother, Mugana, his head's like this. His head is flopped over. Last year, I preached here. I was sick. When I spoke, my head would be looking this way all the time. But some of you were here last year. You must have noticed my head was going this way. On every picture, on the video. My head was doing this. The doctor said there is no cure. I'm standing here tonight. They say when I came back from Africa six months ago, I came back to the UK. And the people in the UK they said, What is the matter with your head? 
And I said, what do you mean? They said, your head is straight. Your head has gone straight. Your head has gone straight. Your head has gone straight. I looked in the pictures. Praise be the Lord. My head is now straight. My head is now straight. Stand here tonight. To say what Yeshua has done for me. To yes, John Colade. He can do for you too. Now I saw what you called it. He can do for you too. I saw what you called it. Now he can do for you too. Ah, yes, I know what you called it. God is not a respecter of people. Mukama does not solemn man too. The color of your skin does not matter. It is God's will to heal you. What would I? Kwa gala kwa katondo kuonya. So my time is up. It's very shortly. I want to thank Uganda for what you've done for me. Webley. 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 But you're here tonight. The barren women, just sit down a moment. The Lord will heal you. But sit down right now. Because I'm going to ask a very important question. You need Yesu in your life in 2013. The people listening on the radio. You need Yesu in your life. In 2013. Tonight is the night. When you get convicted. You get convicted. By Yesu. Yesu. I've seen the hand of God in my life. God wants to bless you tonight. Yes you. You, we, you know in your heart who I'm speaking to. You need Yesu, as your Lord and Savior. I ask the Lord to convict you right now. I ask you right now that you stand up for Yesu. Yesu. You need to stand up and accept Yesu as your Lord and Savior. And if that is you, stand up right now. Stand up right now. Yes, you are here tonight. 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 Yes, you there are many more. You need to make a stand. Yes, so. Right now. Your life will never be the same again. Now. 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 Ngamwagwa 2012 you've moved away from Yesu Yesu wa musebali tonight na yechiro chino you need to get back to Yesu wetu agode ku mugendo demokereza Yesu you need to give your business to Yesu emere mujo wetu agoji kwasa Yesu if that is you stand up right now era bo banga yegwe Yesu wali amuteka mukasero no musanika no mureka au yimuka stand up right now yimuka nawe yimuka Hallelujah. 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 There is conviction. Not condemnation. Conviction. And there is more. Thank you, Yesu. Yes, to Kwebaza. If you are standing up, Bobango Yimide. Say this after me right now. Damwebi Gambobino. Yesu. Gamant Yesu. Thank you for loving me. Please forgive me for my sins. Thank you for paying the price for my salvation and my healing. Holy Spirit, 
come into my heart right now. Fill me with your power. In the name of Yesu. 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 Thank you. Webari. 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 Amina. 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 Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. God is good. Mukama Murunji. I believe many people on the radio. Mwabari Kuradio. Have given their lives right now. I want you Njagala. to contact 93 FM. 93 FM. Or contact Oba. the Christianity Focus Church. Church. Here in Kampala. When you come for that, they will give you the details. They will help you find a church. They will find a church here for you, a Christian Christianity Focus Center. But if you live across Uganda, they will put you in touch with a good church. So you may be fed and taught about Yesu. I thank you now from the UK. My prayer is that you invite me back next year. Amen. Amen. I want to see many babies here next year. Many babies here. Webley. 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 Amen. Garonendo Rue Zaman.